A couple of weeks ago, I asked you about Facebook. You're an early Facebook investor, and you did something that I've never heard you do before, which is publicly criticize one of your portfolio companies. And you said you're disappointed. I'm curious what the reaction has been to that. Have you heard from Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> uh, I have, although I'm not one of those people who who reports on private conversations. Um, it's part of the good relationships I have with with a large number of people in the world. Um, but to his credit, he reached out immediately after our broadcast. He said, "Look, I'm I'm concerned. Uh, why did you say the things that you said? Let's engage in it. Let me inform you more about what we're doing. Uh, I hear your call on." transparency and you know like I think we're doing a good job but we maybe we need to do better and let me talk to you about it so that was I thought like again in the kind of thing of where I'd say look I'm supportive you know very supportive of him as a learning person and CEO he didn't go ah he said something I'm just gonna ignore him I'm not gonna talk to him he reached out um, which is part of I think part of the credit I do think that we're still as a body politic as a as a public society saying all right it's great that you've been doing this research about what are the negative impacts, um, and that's good, responsible corporateering. Now, given that it's unclear what you're doing about it, please be more transparent about how you're investing. Please be more transparent about what your theory of this game is about how you improve on these social impacts. Because you know now we're seeing you know this 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 credible uh, whistleblower come forward. Yeah, you need to tell us more, <laughs> right? And I, I, I'm looking forward to that still. We're expecting Facebook to potentially change its name this week to convey this idea of the metaverse. Do you think the company should charge ahead with this new vision when it still has these problems and still has a lot of issues to work out? <sighs> Potentially. Um, so I don't have any inside information on on the, the the kind of new metaverse vision. I've obviously been thinking about metaverse for a long time. One of my earliest jobs was at being a product manager at uh, Fujitsu on this product called Worlds Away. So virtual worlds and metaverses and snow crash is something I've had a long personal interest in. Um, but it, it's kind of a question of is that transition a transition that will also help on these issues. Like you say, well, here is the way that we are also thinking not just of individual rights, which are very important, and freedom of speech, which is very important, but also how we we, we, we uh, elevate the fabric of society, how we make discourse better, how we make uh, information sharing better, how we get uh, voices heard across the thing in dialogue with respect, right? Now, if they say, hey, that's all part of what we're doing, then that'll be great. If it's like we're totally ignoring it, you're like, well, you shouldn't be ignoring it right now. Please tell us more about that. Given this complex, the, the continuing complex, very complex dynamics, do you think Mark Zuckerberg should still be in charge of Facebook? Uh, yes, because I think he is uh, smart and committed and a learner. Um, I look forward to what that path looks like.